Mountain Children Sports and today I'm very very happy and excited to show you a pair of Green Nichols Powerball 6X gloves right and these are the right-handed 700 gloves in the series so as you may have known from the pad right the glove comes in different grades and categories the 1000 is the highest the 700 is right after and there's also the 500 and the 250 right being 250 being the lowest grade right now the 700 is a I wouldn't say a mid tier because basically this glove is probably one of the most like well protected well developed well built gloves I have ever come across right um green nickels boasts that it's a modern yet traditional glove and as you can see that where we have a lot of high density foam in the forehand and they have the curved four fingers or sausage like fingers as we may call it right for the fingers or metacarpals and one thing i must say about these gloves is that these curved fingers each finger is protected by a hard fiber sheeting or insert right in the finger and that doesn't just go for your bottom hand it goes for your top hand as well right so You've seen a lot of bouncers in the World Cup and, and this glove is definitely one of the gloves that you will want to be wearing if you have to face something along the lines of a lot of short balls you understand? or playing on a pitch that has varying bounce right? Um, Green Nichols really outdid themselves this time and to be honest if this glove is so well built I could just imagine for the 1000 grade um, Again, I love the colouring this nice white and grey or silver as you may call it and fluorescent green slight fluorescent green as in for detailing um, the glove has every single thing that a, a major glove would have it's an identity foam fiberglass sheeting in each finger right um, in the thumb, the thumb is a split thumb in the thumb finger there's the, the rubber capsule and inside the rubber capsule has the piece of um, sponge that we all were accustomed getting in, in, in gloves as we were growing up, but I don't know if they started to leave it out just to um, save money. Um, this particular model of the glove is a sheepskin palm and not a calfskin leather as the lower models are. Right? There's also all this extra tech sheeting, right? You know, shielded, they call it the shielded EVA impact bar, right? And that is to protect your, the sides of your hand or your fingers, right? They're on both sides. This is more on your, on your top hand. Okay. Um, the glove, the, if it, there's one criticism I would have with the glove is that based on all of the protection and fiberglass sheeting that it has in the glove, the glove itself is a bit heavier than the normal high density foam gloves. And that is probably the only problem. You understand? And believe me, you have to sacrifice something to get something else. Right? So in this case, they sacrifice the glove being as lightweight as it could possibly be for more protection so if you know you're going to play you know a game where you have to have more protection or you're going to face a lot of fast bowling um, bouncers the wicket is a bit too paced you understand you may want to go for something a little more protection rather than something just lighter um, if you're playing on a low wicket you may not want to use this because you know if, if weight is a concern for you but um, to be honest these gloves are fantastic um really actually they fit snug there's really nice um toweling inside it's all the, the leather is ultra soft you know um the glove is nice and flexible you know, just as i put them on here you know they fit properly you know it's just a fantastic pair of gloves I honestly can't see how it is anyone can have a complaint with regards to these gloves in particular. You know, they look really, really nice. Real nice and simple if you like the traditional look, you know. The leather is ultra soft. The only thing that, you know, it could possibly be a complaint is how long these gloves actually last. Um, the owner of the gloves, I guess I'll try to keep in contact with him and find out, you know. How the gloves them go as you can see he bought them off season so i don't think he will have much cricket so it will take a long period of time before we actually get some feedback as to how the gloves go i don't know if he bought them 
as his game gloves, you know, or he just bought them as a backup to what he already has in his bag, or he's gonna use them for training. But um, I personally think that these are a pair of game gloves. So that's based on the price and the quality. It's not a very cheap glove, um, but it is way better than the cost. And by saying that, I mean that the money that we paid for the glove, definitely the glove performance will overshadow the cost that you paid. Right? Um, again, no, there's nothing else I can say with regards to these gloves. They're just a fantastic pair of gloves. If I were to get them a rating, I would definitely give these gloves a rating of about 9 out of 10. Um, just because I always think that there's room for improvement with regards to the materials used or technology advancing and giving us other options as time goes on right but i must say green nickels is a very very good pair of gloves um, i look forward to seeing or using other gloves in this range or higher in this range or different ranges just to see you know what what how it matches up with regards to these and performance wise um again this is jamie Ali from centurion sports um like subscribe go to my instagram youtube facebook and you all have a good night. Look forward to more reviews.